What's going on, guys? Zuko back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very well. We are into the new expansion. We are having a blast. And everybody, you if you haven't got the expansion, the the uh, you know the Epic Edition or whatever, you'll be joining us tomorrow on the 26th, which is really awesome. I'm going to apologize in advance for the amount of times I'm uh, messing with my nose in this video. I've got some like weird summer cold thing going on, so just bear with me, okay? In this video, I want to talk about what happens when you get to level 80. I want to talk about getting gear and getting gold. Those are the two big things that you're going to do. Because remember, we actually have a lot of time before we actually need to get into like season one. That's not coming till September. Um, you know, September 10th, I believe, is the start date for season one. And then September 17th is like Mythic Plus and Mythic Raid. So we're going to have a lot of time right now between August 22nd and September 10th to get a bunch of stuff done that, again, won't really require us to be grinding mythic plus or grinding raid you can do a lot of other stuff to really benefit your character including uh things like professions to get gold i'll talk about that in a minute and then also how to get gear so you're in the game okay you start in the isle of dorn you're on your first character i would highly recommend you go and do the campaign just do the campaign on your first character and then do a couple of dungeons afterwards so you go from the isle of dorn to the ringing deeps to hallow fall and then down into ashkahet and you're done the campaign, and you're about level 77. That's where you're going to land, okay? And then you need to do a bunch of dungeons, let's say four or five dungeons maybe, maybe six, and then boom, you're level 80, okay? What do I do now? You've got the campaign done. Again, you want to get the campaign done because it unlocks additional world quests for your alts, and it gives your alts additional experience uh, when they come in, which you're probably going to want to make an alt or two in this expansion because it's very alt-friendly, okay? So... You got to level 80, you're done the campaign, what do I do now? The first thing you should do is you should look at weekly quests that are out on the map, and there's going to be additional world quests, like I said, that open up. They might have really good gear, like this right here. This is a, a knife that I can go get. This is a very high item level because my item level is higher right now on my on my main here, but that's a huge like weapon upgrade right there. There's going to be zone quests that you can go do, things like the theater troop in the Isle of Dorne, things like the Awakening the Machine event in the um, Ringing Deeps. I can't even, oh, am I getting booted from the game? We are. Uh-oh, give me one second here. I gotta see if I can get back in. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Blizzard's been having some massive authentication server issues right now, and I'm doing my best to work through it. I was talking about the outdoor world events in each zone. Again, you've got the theater troop up here in the Isle of Dorne. In the Ringing Deeps, we have the uh, Awakening the Machine event. In Hallowfall, you're going to have this Spreading of the Light uh, event. That'll get you a Radiant Cache. Has some really good gear in it. And then in Ashkahet, there... I'm not really sure what the event is down here yet. I haven't unlocked it yet. But there's going to be an event down here as well, okay? So, those... Outdoor world events are very, very good for getting you a what's a weekly cash, and this is something that is a theme. Um, once you hit level eighty, there's going to be weekly caches in multiple different areas. Again, with these outdoor world events, that's one of the main ways to do it. There's also just going to be a weekly cash that pops up on your mini map um, that you that you can do. It'll be like do three world quests or kill a couple of rares or do this different event that's going on down here. And then you do that and you're going to unlock even more gear as well. So go to your map as soon as you hit 80, check on the big, big weekly quests, weekly caches that you can do. That's going to get you some gear right out of the gates, which is very, very good. Okay. That's the first thing that I would highly recommend. Number two is you should take a look at Bountiful Delves. And my understanding of Bountiful Delves is that um they're gonna reset i think every 24 hours i'm not entirely sure about this because we haven't been able to be on the beta or we haven't been on like the live server for long enough yet but my guess is that it's every 24 hours and bountiful delves if you're wondering a regular delve can get you potentially some gear drops but really a bountiful delve is going to guarantee that you get this bountiful coffer now you have to use what's called a restored coffer key in order to be able to open this bountiful coffer chest that you're going to get at the end of this dungeon. So 
You're gonna get a, you're gonna get regular potential gear. May contain equipment, recipes, yada yada. But this bountiful one is the one you're looking for. That has a item level 571 piece of gear. Very very good. Again, it requires a restored coffer key. That is a currency that you can have right here. You can see restored coffer keys. There are multiple ways to get restored coffer keys. Primarily, you're looking at those weekly caches that I just talked about. So make sure you do the weekly caches first. Get those done because they have a very very high chance of giving Giving you a restored coffer key now on wowhead they had a recommendation to not use coffer keys until season one if you really want to optimize your gear and that's because in once season one begins we'll be able to go beyond tier three with the bountiful delves my issue with this logic is that season one doesn't begin until um basically september 10th so right now is august 26th right it's going to be august 26th that's like two weeks. You're going to have two weeks to collect multiple coffer keys. So I would encourage you guys to actually use a few of your coffer keys right away in the Bountiful Delves to get the 571 item level gear so that you can upgrade it and get your get the rest of your gear kind of rolling. I think it's okay to use a few of your keys here. Yes, once Season 1 truly begins and you can go beyond Tier 3 and start getting up to Tier 4 and all the way up to Tier 8, then that's wonderful. Then you can use your coffer keys on the higher level tiers and get higher level gear. That is a good mindset to have. But right now, you're going to be able to collect a lot of coffer keys before um the actual season goes live so i would encourage you to use a few of them on these coffer uh chests here and get uh some really good gear upgrades okay that's one way you can get gear as well now the other most common probably thing that you're going to do the most um obvious thing to go do is to fly around and kill rares now rares will pop up on your mini map up here so keep your eye open for them but there are also zones there are little areas within each of the major zones that has a high concentration of rares. And for the Ringing Deeps, it's going to be this Taloc area. I think it's actually up here. Let me make sure I'm going in the right spot. Yeah, it's actually over here. It's above the Taloc area. It's up here. There's a massive concentration of elite mobs up here which are very dangerous and then on top of that there are rares you can see on the map it's going to pop up and look exactly like this they're going to have that silver dragon border around there's a guy in a cave right below me there's another one that people just killed over here that's a huge worm that a bunch of people just killed and when the expansion goes live there's going to be all kinds of people around here killing these rares so in hollow uh sorry in the ringing deeps it's going to be this area right here above Taloc. you want to go there and look for rares to kill in the isle of dorn it's basically above the cinderbrew metery it's like right here there's a bunch of like bees and other wildlife that are around here and they have a whole bunch of of elites but also rares that are in there as well so that's going to be a place you can concentrate and farm in hollow fall it's up over here by the spreading the light area there's a whole bunch of rares that spawn in this zone all over here to get and you can you can kill a bunch of them and get a bunch of loot in Ashkahat, i haven't quite figured out where the rares are right now there is a small concentration of them down in the big city of threads area down here but Really, I haven't found like the actual big concentration like I found in the other zone. So just to recap that, in the Ringing Deeps, it's above Taloc. You want to go there and kill a bunch of these rares. There's going to be a lot of people here on launch day farming them, so you shouldn't have a, a big problem trying to get to them. In the Ringing Deeps, of course, or uh, sorry, in the Isle of Dorne, as I said, it's right by the Cinderbrew Metery. And then in the in Hallowfall, it's up here by the Spreading the Light event. So those are the three pockets uh pocket areas that have massive concentrations of elite mobs but also rares and killing rares can get you really big loot drops like this i got this void touched waste guard right before i went live by killing a rare that's a 577 item level upgrade for me and that's a huge upgrade on what i'm wearing i'm only at 554 so boom we're gonna put that on right now and i've got myself some really good gear going on there so again Killing rares is going to be actually a really big way that you can um, grab a bunch of high-level gear. It's it's one of the best ways to do it, actually. I would say once you're done doing those caches, once you've got your restored coffer key, and you've used a couple of them on Bountiful Delves, then you should go hunt for rares. That's the best way to go get a bunch of extra gear as well. Okay? Um, 
The last thing I'm going to highlight for getting gear is the Renown track. Now, once you're done the campaign, you're going to be at around um, Renown level 4 on each of the different factions. 3 to 4, okay? On each of the factions. So, each of these factions has an epic piece of gear waiting for you at a certain level of Renown. So, for Council of Dornagal, which is going to be on the Isle of Dorn outside primarily... Um, you're going to want to get to Renown level 7. That gets you a 584 piece of gear. That's your shoulder piece. The Assembly of the Deeps requires you to get to level 8, which is what I have done. So not level 7, but level 8. That gets you a 584 headpiece. Okay. Hallowfall requires level 7. Pardon me. And that gets you a 584 uh, chest piece. Okay. And then the Severed Threads has a very unique... A uh, piece of gear and only requires renown level six, and it gets you a pheromone uh, secretor. It's it's a trinket, I believe. I'm gonna pull back up my the wow head here because we've got a uh, thing on it here. So this is it here, the Nerubian pheromone secretor. It is a trinket. Now, what's kind of cool is that it has these pheromone sockets. And again, this is all like in the Ashkahet zone, the spider zone. You have to go down there and you have to farm. Um, essentially their resource down there, which is called Kedge. It's not difficult to farm, so don't worry about it. You just get to Renown level 6 with these guys, okay? You'll get access to that. Sorry, that's my... Uh, someone just followed me on Twitch. Then you get a, get a little bit of Kedge. You'll already have a bunch of Kedge just by doing world quests and stuff around there. You get to Renown level 6, and you can purchase this Nerubian Pheromone uh, Secretor. And again, it has two sockets that are like Pheromone sockets, and you can put whatever stats you want into this thing. There's a, there's a haste one and a mastery one and a crit one and a verse one. So you can put whatever stats you want into it. And then it has an additional equip effect as well. So very, very cool piece of gear that you can get from um, the severed threads, which is, again, the Ashkahet zone, the spider zone. That only requires renown level six. So seven, eight, seven, and six. That's what you need to get your renown levels to. And I'm telling you right now, it's actually not that difficult. If you're wondering, how do I get Renown, Zuko? Just do every single side quest in the zone. Anywhere there's an exclamation mark, just go do it. Go do every quest, every single yellow exclamation mark in the zone. Go do it, and you will get Renown. I know that sounds like a lot of work, and it is It is. It is a lot of work, but that's how you do it. That's how you get your Renown level up. I got to the Ringing Deeps Renown level 8 without even doing every single exclamation mark in this zone, as you can see right now. So I have level 8 with the... I'm actually 8.5 like almost with the Assembly of the Deep. So it's not that hard to get the reputation up to the level where you can buy each of these pieces of gear. That's what I'm spending my time doing right now. Again, is all of this gear just going to get replaced when, when Season 1 truly begins and we can start doing, like, Mythic Zero level dungeons? Yes, that is true. Mythic Zero level dungeons are going to reward 593 item level gear. So, absolutely, if you don't care about, like, min-maxing your gear right now, that's fine. I understand that. But we, we, we are going to have about two weeks of time here before we even get to Season 1. So, if you want something to do, this is something that you can do, okay? You can go get your Renown levels up and get a bunch of gear from that, okay? that is how we get a bunch of um renown that's how we get a bunch of gear again we're talking about restored coffer keys for the delves you're going to be hunting a bunch of rares um you can do it with your, your the renown track as well and of course you can do it with those big weekly caches that i discussed a second ago so those are your main ways of getting gear that's what you want to do when you hit level 80 start gearing your character the other thing you can do is start getting gold, and I would highly recommend that you grab a couple of gathering professions to go make some gear. On my, uh, go make some, sorry, to go make some gold. On my shaman, let me just make sure I'm going the right way. I have a, I have skinning and I have mining, and they're maxed out already because that's all I've been doing. Like there's, you won't have anything else to do. I'm telling you right now, this is the best use of your time. I have made probably 300,000 gold already by just farming, like, mining nodes and then skinning stuff that I can skin and selling those resources on the on the auction house. Literally 300,000 gold already, um, and it's just... I haven't even been, been working that hard at it. Like, my character has 300 grand right now on my shaman, and I've already put a bunch of that money into the bank. So I've probably made over 300 grand just doing this. And I've only, I've only had access to this uh, for the last two days or so, two and a half days. So, again, 
Very important to understand. If you want to make money early on in this expansion, I would go get mining and skinning or mining and herbalism. Mining is definitely the best way to do it. And that's because you can get things like this, these imperfect null stones, and you can bring these to the auction house and you click them on here and the null stones will sell for a lot of gold. That's a thousand gold for one imperfect null stone. And that little null stone thing, I'm just getting it from mining nodes. You just mine whatever nodes you want to be mining and they have a chance to give you the imperfect null stone. You can also increase your chance of getting those null stones by going into the specializations and i believe i've done um is it this rack here there's something about null stones uh somewhere here i forget where it is it might just be here that's quality anyway it doesn't really matter the point is there is um there is a bunch of ways to get these null stones and there's ways to improve that in the mining specialization there and that's going to get you a lot of gold and as you can see it literally already sold in the chat dialogue there a buyer has been found for your imperfect null stone so those are some of the really important some of the big mats that you can sell i also have a whole bunch of um skinning ones that i have let me just see really quickly if i can sell those um, here's like bismuth. This is what I've been mining. Okay. There's a bunch of bismuth, just literally one quality bronze quality bismuth. I'm selling 23 of them for 1200 gold. There's some iron claw ore. That's 230 gold and 465 gold for that one. And then we've got some leather that we got from skinning. I only had one there. There's 12. There's 131 gold. You can just make a bunch of gold. These gloom chittens are from skinning as well. Just give it a second to think about it. There's 600 gold right there. There's some uh, advanced materials here, like the Sunless Carapace. That's a rare material that you can get. There's 1,700 gold. Um, we've got some more Gloom Chittens here. I was trying to look for... That's a writhing sample. There's just all kinds of stuff you can get. And I would say you should just get in right away. Get a ga get two gathering professions like herbalism and mining or mining and skinning and just go for it and absolutely sell everything that you come across and you will make a crazy amount of gold early on in this expansion. There's 330 gold and you can see everything is being sold right away. It's just gone. Literally, I just made a whole bunch of money. I can't show you in the mailbox because it takes a minute for the game to register, but we just made an outrageous amount of money already. Oh, there's some right there. This is from my uh, sale yesterday. Let's just see how much gold I get from my sale yesterday. I'll show you right now. It's just going to calculate it all, I guess, right here. We're going to make a crazy amount of money here. Okay, we're going to move, and then boom, I made 44,000 gold. Right in front of you, right here, 44,500 gold. This is just from skinning and mining, okay? It is outrageous how much money you can make right now just by doing this, okay? So I would highly encourage all of you, grab those professions, and that's how you can make a lot of gold early in the expansion so that you can fund, you know, you're getting your flasks, getting your files, getting your enchants, maybe buying some crafted gear that costs a lot of money. This is going to help to fuel that so you can get even more here uh in the war within okay i hope that helps you guys remember do the weekly caches look out for these big world quests that have crazy item upgrades go and do a bountiful delve to get some 571 gear go kill some rares to get some really high level gear as well and then buff your renown tracks up so that you can buy the the 580 gear that is um available there as well and then uh, it's just you're just going to be swimming in gear and go go get some crafting um, gathering I would say professions to get some some uh, gold so you can buy gear later on and continue to fuel your build okay I hope that helps you I hope that encourages you this expansion is going to be a lot of fun I am very excited I think you should be too it's going to be a blast I will see you guys in the war within thank you so much again for watching drop a comment down below ask me any more questions you want to about all this stuff I will answer all the questions in the comments down below thank you so much again for watching love you all I'll see you in the next one